My name is Paseen Molitor Patel, but you can just call me Pi. My name comes from Mamaji's favorite pool in the world in France. My story begins in the town of Pondicherry in India. My father, Santosh Patel, used to run the Pondicherry Zoo, where I learned to love to study animal habits and characteristics, which would start my path to studying zoology. Many say zoos are inhumane, but I say they are wrong. <coughs> Zoo animals live a luxurious life where they never have to fight for food or for their survival. I love God, not one God, but all higher powers. I am Muslim, Hindu, and Christian, but my parents don't approve. I don't like agnostics because I don't like their belief in a world of uncertainty. Here's the agnostic prayer. And if this food comes as a gift from some divine intelligence, we understand that an intelligent being cannot blame us for questioning its existence. Nobody knows, nobody can know, if any deity is watching over us. Amen. The boat sank. <laughs> Pi got in a life raft with some animals and natural selection occurred. <laughs> Pi finds a survival guide. Fish started flying out of the water and Pi said that this is what Tokyo would look like during rush hour. A cannibal came on board but Richard Parker took care of him. Pi finds an island with mirror cats. Pi then stumbles on a Mexican beach. Two officials from the Maritime Department and the Japanese Ministry of Transport want to question Pi about what happened to the Simpson. Pi tells them the story. We don't believe your story. If you don't like my story, I'll tell you another. There were four of us on the lifeboat. Let's see, uh, a Chinese sailor stabbed his leg jumping into the boat. Logically, the next thing to do, of course, was to cut off his leg and use it as bait. But the fish didn't seem to like the Chinese leg very much, so that didn't work. The next sensible move was to eat the sailor. The cook, though, was right and ready for anything. My mother and I, less intrigued by white meat, decided to suck on our fingers for nourishment. He wanted to suck on our fingers too, but we wouldn't have it. He then came after us, killed my mother, and then tossed her head to me like a volleyball. At this point, I got pretty hungry. And that cook really started to piss me off, so I killed him, and then I ate his heart and liver and some flesh. It was peaceful after that, and God saved me. How's that for a story? So which story do you like better? Well, I like the one where you pee in corners and eat tiger shit. <laughs>